Hello. This is part five of a series of videos in which I explain some of the mathematics behind my animations. In this video, we will look at adding epicycles to make patterns more interesting. Try not to confuse epicycles with the similarly named epicycloids, which we looked at in video one. The curves we have seen in previous videos have been created by one wheel rolling around the outside or the inside of a circle. For example, here is a hypocycloid curve, which we looked at in video two, where the sizes of the wheels are in the ratio five to two. In an epicycle, the moving wheel does not roll around the circle, but its center moves around the circle instead. For example, here is an epicycle with the same ratio of five to two. Notice that this curve has loops, which were not present in the hypocycloid curve. In this epicycle, the pen is on the circumference of the moving wheel, so it is at position one. We do not have to use pen position one. Here are epicycles with the same ratio, five to two, but with the pen at position a half in red and at position two in yellow. Notice that in the red curve the loops have disappeared, but in the yellow curve the loops have become larger and now meet at the centre of the central circle. We can draw epicycles based on other curves instead of on a circle. Here is an epicycle on a ratio 5 to 2 hypocycloid curve. The hypocycloid is shown in red, the epicycle wheel moves around the hypocycloid and the epicycle curve is shown in green. This gives an interesting propeller shape. As well as moving the pen in or out along a radius of the epicycle wheel, we can also move its initial position around the circumference of the epicycle wheel. For example, if we move our pen by 180 degrees, so it starts on the opposite side of the epicycle wheel, we get a different pattern based on the same hypocycloid curve. In this animation, we can see what happens to the epicycle pattern as the initial position of the pen moves around the epicycle wheel from zero to 180 degrees and then back to zero. And we can add epicycles on top of epicycles. In this pattern, the ratio between the central wheel and the first epicycle is seven to four, and the ratio between the first epicycle and the second smallest epicycle is two to one. The central wheel is in red, the first epicycle is in blue, and the second epicycle is in green. In the next video, I'll look at creating patterns by interpolating between two different curves. Mm -hmm.